welcome to MCWA Wrestling. Here we see the man known as Malice. We here at Head Drop Productions would like to welcome you to another wonderful Head Drop Productions DVD release. Only the best for our fans, only the best for you. Now, Craig, uh, can you tell me anything about Lango Lee here? Wow, 120-pound Lango Lee taking on the Monster Malice. I don't want to say this is going to be unfair, but lopsided might be a good description for how this match is going to end up. And here is Lango himself. You know, he's got a lot of heart. Yep, it's going to take a lot of heart to pump all that blood out of him once Malice splats him on the floor. Referee calls for the bell. This match is underway. Malice charges in. Oh, Langley uses some of that quickness. Uh-oh. Oh, what a chap in the corner. <laughs> yeah, you can only run so far. Ooh, one more. Lango just in all sorts of trouble. Folks, we got a lot in store for you here tonight. You're going to see the MPW Metropolitan title on the line. You're going to see the MCWA Lightweight title on the way, line. You're going to see the MCWA Heavyweight Championship on the line as well. And the tag team titles. Don't let me forget. That is a lot of title action on this uh, DVD. Tons of title action. You are going to love every second of it. Just like you're going to enjoy watching Lego Lee take that forearm elbow shiver to the face and Ooh, there's a double choke bomb and that is it folks this match is over in record time Folks, we're in store for a three-way dance. Introducing first from Prison City, Michigan, weighing in tonight at 215 pounds, here is Officer Brad Street. Hey, Craig, I heard that you're uh, very familiar with Prison City, Michigan. Is, is that true? I, I've been around it. I try to avoid anything that says prison or officer. I just, you know, discretion is the better part of Al. You know what? I, I can agree with that. I can agree with that a lot. And here we see Officer Rod Street. Looks like he has something to say. gang is that? We He's were in the same color, we're strapped, and we will jump you, and it is all legal. Now, with that being said, I have a strict, strict policy on my rules of conduct while I'm performing. And number one, no running, that means you. Number two, keep your eyes Number three, remain seated. No 
I don't think they're going to follow those rules. No, nope. too many rules to follow. I understand and I deal with a lot of people in my line of work, including the handicapped. And I'm dealing with a crowd full of the hearing impaired. So I'm going to speak a little louder when I tell everybody to shut up. Sorry, now. I thought he was talking about the time. I get where we're going here. Hey, you with your stupid Goodwill outfit. You bring these losers out here, because you're all hearing impaired. I'm going to let the actions speak for me. Strong words. And introducing one of his opponents, coming to us tonight from Detroit, Michigan. the money maker coming here to mcwa last time we saw him he was in a losing effort to the one and only chase matthews well maybe he'll have better luck this month when he's taking on two opponents he seemed to have his hands full of just one last one yeah, maybe he can uh take advantage of having the extra opponent here and uh, pick up the victory i just want to point out there are Referee of the match, uh, Rick Vivian. He's a wonderful referee. I can't argue that point at all. Rick Vivian is one of the better referees you'll see in Detroit. Good to see Bubbles with his camera moving out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's here. Anyway. Ooh, a bruiser. Oh, Chris Moore. Business is about to pick up. Chris Moore has held championships all over. One third of Genesis. Tri County area. That's right. No stranger to victory. Absolutely not. We're going to see his tag team partners, Owen Travers and Lance Starr, in action later on tonight, defending their tag team titles against no other than Orlando Christopher and Caleb Stills. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to be one heck of a matchup. But right now, we got Chris Moore. And you know what? I'm excited about this kid. Look at him. He is a beast. He is a big, big boy. And both Lathan Clemens and Rod Street are going to be in for a little bit of trouble here tonight. I think. Referee wants the bell. Our timekeeper not uh, paying attention. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, the bell has indeed run. Rod Street getting his calisthenics in before the match. You know, you got to stretch out. You got to be adequately warmed up or else you could hurt yourself. And uh, I know Rod Street doesn't want to do that here tonight. All three men. I suppose he's got to work out those donuts. Am I right, Craig? Just like Rod Street said, too many donuts in his life. I don't know. He looks all right. But he's bald. You know how I feel about bald people. Jealous. Look at that mustache. He can pull it off. That's a mustache only a mother would love. On their serial child, serial killer child. Is that. Look at the size of Chris Moore, folks. Lathan Clemens is in trouble right now. That's all I can say. Lathan Clemens trying to use a little bit of that speed to his advantage, but Chris Moore 
Chris Morris not having any of that that size. Not even close. Oh, Clemens giving him the eyes. Oh, gets him with that cross body block. Even enough to get a quick two count. Oh, the money maker jumping high. Wow, only a two though. Closer than Chris Moore wanted it. Ooh, big right hands in the corner. Fire ship. Nope, reverse. Forehead first goes Latham Clemens right in the corner. That, that looked awful. Latham Clemens was on a really bad end of that exchange. Yeah, you got to be really careful. I mean, running into the turnbuckle, folks, you, you got to realize that. Underneath those turnbuckle pads are solid steel hooks. You know, it wasn't until the late 70s, early 80s that pads showed up in the corners. If you take a look at some old wrestling, you'll see the hooks. If you go to your local hardware store and ask for a turnbuckle, they will show you exactly what's underneath those pads. It hurts. Uh-oh, Chris Moore focusing on the officer. Lathan Clemens. <laughs> Rod Street doesn't want him to come after him, but there comes Chris Moore. Not listening to the law again. Oh. Ooh, twice he goes down, does Rod Street. Oh, look at those clotheslines. I think this is every... I think this is a dream of many people right now, beating up on the cops. In, in the match, it's you know, completely legal, so they might as well take as many liberties as they can. Oh, look at that. Chris Moore just choking Lathan Clemens over that middle rope. He's got to the count of five. And he knows it. Oh, Chris Moore making a deal with the devil. Chris Moore is offered a choice, and I think he made a smart decision. Well, you know, when it comes down to it, with uh, the enemy and my enemy is my friend, right? Sure. I was going to say, you know, he only has to take out one person if that deal is made in Broad Street. Ooh, double suplex. Clemens in trouble. Rod Street goes for the cover. Not appreciated by Chris Moore. Uh-oh. And... Oh. There goes that respect his authority. Uh-oh. Rod Street is up. He's trying to fight his way out. Ooh, but there's that big power slam by Chris Moore, and that's got to be it, folks. Oh, Lathan Clemens with the save. Very near fall there. Clemens sucking for air. Rod Street takes a powder. He's on the outside. Ooh. Jawbreaker. Clemens goes for a cover. Oh, but a double stomp to the back from Rod Street. Hooks the arm and the leg, and that's it. That's how you steal a victory. Wow. Snatched it from what? The jaws of defeat, you always say. The police win again. Oh, it looks like he might be pulling out his citation book. And there's one for Lathan Clemens. 
and he's stupid. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Insult to injury. And that's straight from the officer of the law. Cruiserweight title on the line right here and right now. Introducing first the challenger. Coming to us today from Lansing, Michigan, weighing in at 210 pounds. Here is off, Day Denny Shea. Lansing, Michigan, God's country in Michigan. Danny Shea, he is here. You look at him, this young man. He is what I'm going to call the future of professional wrestling. Not only in Michigan, not only in the Midwest, but across the country, perhaps across the world as well. Craig, you like Danny Shea, don't you? Yeah, Danny Shea is one hell of a competitor. He really is. I like him a lot. I think he's, uh, I think he's got a lot of boxing. And I think he's going to show it to DBA here tonight. He's got a lot of ability to back that moxie up, too. I mean, there's one thing that we have cocky, but it's not going to be able to back that up. Isn't that a song? I don't know. Could be. The DBA, he's Detroit's best. I don't know what DA stands for, but DB has got to be Detroit's best. Isn't that doing business as? Huh? Is that something? Danny Shea in the ring. He is your challenger here tonight. The champion about to make his way to the ring. And his opponent is the reigning, defending MCWA Cruiserweight Champion, the most dangerous man in Michigan. Here is D.B.A. I'm excited to see the D.B.A. Yep, business is about to pick up. You see that face up popping? Signaling. I'll point it out to referee Rusty Kimmel. There's the DBA. There's your cruiserweight champion here at the MCWA. DBA getting the fans together with them here tonight. That young fan having the night of his life getting touched by DBA. Who's that guy? Oh, the DBA, that's who it is. Yeah, that guy looks like a bum. DBA is not. I like his hat. It's camo like his pants. It matches. Faint. There it is. There is the cruiserweight championship for MCWA. Your champion, the DBA, the challenger all day, Danny Shea. One heck of a championship match here. Oh, DBA. He's assuming the position. Well, he knows how the officials treat him. Time. Oh, DBA! Nice fireman's carry takeover. 
shown the skills. And I've, heard, I've heard a lot of people before chanting that you can't wrestle at DBA, but you know what? He can. I've never heard. Uh, yeah, I have. I've watched a lot of DBA, and there are a lot of crowds out there that aren't big fans. They think he's just hardcore. They think he's just a bruiser and a brawler. But you know what? The DBA can wrestle. You see right now, he's got that wrist lock applied. Danny Shea is the punch drunk saint. He is here to take advantage and try to defeat the DBA, try to become the new MCWA Cruiserweight Champion. But he's got a heck of a challenge in front of him. The DBA, a, a pro. How many years has he been a pro, Craig? A few. Oh, more than a few. He's been a pro over 10 years. Over a decade, the DBA has been in the ring. He's been a champion. Over and over and over and over and over again. Oh! Down he goes. Danny Shea, a little bit extra mass, a little bit extra girth, able to take DBA down with that shoulder block. Oh! Yeah, the DBA's up right down with that elbow. Beautiful back elbow. Like butter. Last time we saw the DBA, he actually was taking on the MCWA champion, Mark Joka, and what ended up being one heck of a brawl. Kind of, kind of broke down, but a battle for the ages. And Mark Joka is going to be involved in our main event tonight. That's right. He's taking on the serial killer, Jack Thriller, for that MCWA championship, and I can't wait to see it. Danny Shea in control, throws the knee into DBA's midsection. Danny Shea smart to be on the attack right now. It's going to be difficult for DBA to get a lot of inf offense in a non vertical base. Shea in control, he's choking away the DBA. Look at that middle rope. Like hook, only one. DBA still got a lot of fight in him. Taking off a Like his hook. Only two. Oh! Nice suplex on Shane. Wonderful souffle there by Danny Shea. Sorry. This match continues. DBA trying to fight to his feet, fighting back on Danny Shea to the midsection. But Shea says, no, 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 DBA. I'm still in control of this one. Did you say all that? You no, know I'm just saying that's what he said. I'll show you speculation. Oh, DBA go for that DVD. Death Valley driver, no. Shea fighting out. Ankle lock. Picked it out. Got the ankle lock in. This could be it. Smart submission wrestling out of Danny Shea. Nope, DBA rolling through, able to get to the ropes, and Shea out to the floor. Danny Shea trying to collect himself. DBA comes along with a drop kick through the ropes. Kicking Shea right to the floor. And DBA might have hurt himself doing that. You see him grabbing that ankle, catching his breath, back up to his feet. Oh, DBA draped across the top rope, guillotine style. Cut the wind off is Danny Shea. Breaks the choke by the five count. Danny Shea.
Danny Shea, Shea knows he has until the five count. Absolutely. Danny Shea's taking every advantage he can. Again, smart. Oh! Bend the rules, but not break them. DBA's got the sleeper. Oh, but Shea drops down. Stuns the DBA. Leg is hooked. Only near fall, though. It's going to take a little more than that to beat the DBA tonight. Irish whip. Shea goes for the leg. Oh, DBA goes for the leg. Now DBA on top. You see a, a jockeying for position for that lateral press. Neither man able to actually get the pitfall. Very close though. DBA in control. Ooh, big time clothesline. DBA charges in, hits that clothesline. Irish with Shea in the ropes, comes out. Bulldogging headlock. Lateral press. No leg hooked, only a two. Shea able to get the momentum behind his lower body. A lot of fight left in Danny Shea still. I mean, it's gonna take a lot more to put him out than that. Oh, this, may, this match is definitely not even close to over. Uh-oh. DVD broken. Oh, an implant, DDT. Shea hooks the far leg, that's it! No! Still a lot of fight left in DBA. DBA barely gets his way out of that one. He got his shoulder up off the mat for a split second, but that was enough to break the pinfall. Uh oh, Shea going up to the high risk district. Oh, DBA's not done though! DBA was just waiting for him. Oh no! Oh no, DBA's got him up. Oh, a super Death Valley driver. Leg is hooked. That is it. What a match, Craig. Back and forth contest. Several times victory. Looks like he's gonna skate the hands of DBA. He's gonna snatch that victory from the jaws of defeat and defeat Danny Shea here tonight. What a heck of a victory.